happy mars day collective welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning it's the pisces high priestess you guys can call me siren we're going to get into today's timeless channel planetary message for the energies of mars and its connection to the root chakra um yeah so let's get into it i feel like the movement today is slow though like y'all traffic er like everything this morning i don't know this day has been so slow and it's actually been irritating me i actually said out loud in the middle of traffic i was like wow i was like wow it's no way that it could be mars day it, it can't be mars day because everything's going so slow but no i feel like it is mars day just because mars is about motion it doesn't mean that the motion has to be quick or fast now yeah typically mars is like that but it doesn't always have to be so maybe you're thinking about your own mars placement we all have a mars placement but it could be different. Maybe your Mars is in Taurus. So yeah, no. Uh, slower movement, that's what's going to work for you personally. Um, but I feel like you're becoming aware of something about yourself when it comes to movement. And maybe it's your body. It's your, everybody's different. Um, yeah, maybe it's a, the body too for the root chakra. Maybe something more physical. Like one of those things where uh, some people working out super heavy, doing HIIT workouts and like, you know, what you CrossFit and all that crazy shit that helps them lose weight quickly. For other people, they got to do something slow because they're, it, it, it just is too much on their stress levels, which is actually going to have a reverse effect. So I feel like well, I have been hearing this a lot lately and I'm sick of it. Stay on your ground or like. Um, standing on it, standing your ground. I don't know, but, um, hmm. I'm getting stand your ground, your ground, yours, or go at your own pace. Or what you want to do, you have rejoice and celebration. That's like the Three of Cups. And power. Did I tell y'all the other day? Um, I don't know if I said it in Moon Day. Yeah, we're going to talk about love, spiritual union. I don't know if we talked about it for Moon Day or if it was in that video that I did for Venus Day that I didn't post. Um, Or Solar Day. I didn't post that one either. But, uh... Yeah, I, I said in the video, we was talking about love. Because last week, the topic, or I was saying, like, um, yeah, I feel like love is kind of unconditional. Like, you can't really help it. Like, even if something's going wrong or, you know, the situation isn't what it used to be. Like, love is like, um, you have no choice but to surrender. It's like, man, I can't. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to give up. Like, I, I can't. Um, like, love is something you cannot help. So if I, I feel like even if you have to think about, hmm, did I love them or then you probably didn't because it's something you wouldn't be able to help or like you just feel drawn to somebody or something. But remember, it's not just romantic love. So I'm like, huh, no, I have been in love. It's just I haven't been in love in, in that way. But I know for sure that I love my daughter and I love you guys because I was like, yeah, every time I say I'm done with this, like I'm done, I can't do it no more or whatever. Here I am back at this table because I love you. And I feel drawn to you and I can't help it. I can't I can't help but to surrender to you. So yeah, I don't know. Y'all kind of have me wrapped around your fingers, and I guess that's love. <laughs> I don't, so yeah. Um it's just that uh not speaking to y'all for me, but just like um just don't take advantage of that. If somebody loves you or like, or say, you know, this person or somebody else, they know that they have you wrapped around their finger, don't take advantage of that. Um, okay. Spiritual union. So two forces coming together. Um, power. Y'all feel like uh, love. Y'all don't want to give up. You're going to stand on it. Uh, you're not going to give up or whatever. Y'all love my daughter. I could have very easily been like, um, early on, like, oh, this is too hard. Let's just like not even. I'm like, no, I'm going to try, try to the very end, no matter what happens. 
or that's how you feel it feel in a relationship or something or they do with you like i mean however even if this crash and burns and it doesn't work out and it is what it is like let's just see let's just go for it but i'd rather you know fought and lost in the what ifs so something's moving slower and uh you're sticking around your temperance so archangel michael If you need to call on Archangel Michael, like, actually, for real, do that out loud. Yeah, because here he come, Knight of Sword. Because <laughs> we know that Archangel Michael kind of governs the root chakra, or if you follow the Egyptian pantheon, um, Osiris. So very earth energy, like kind of like earth and fire. But Archangel Michael has the sword. It's a reason for that. We've kind of talked about it. I won't get too deep into it, but like, like, yeah. Like, remember last week I was saying how um something needs to be removed from you or both of you. Some type of like parasite from the past, old relationships, old habits, whatever. Um, so that you can move forward or whatever. And it's like every time you, time you try to change, you feel reluctant to change or you feel like, yeah, it's not you that's afraid. The fear, so this is here again, something with fear. The fear is not you. It's not you. It's something else that's attached to you that knows that when you change or when you heal, it will no longer have a place in your environment. So people trying to help you or heal you or whatever, and the parasite, parasite is like, don't let they hate you. Don't listen to them. They're not your friends. They hate you. They hate you. Be be afraid. Yeah, because why would the parasite want you to? These people are gonna get rid of it. You'll stick around. The parasite won't. Whatever the the old energy, whatever it is. Um. I remember after that reading, y'all, because I kind of filmed that last week or something. I was like in my kitchen doing something. And I just felt the energy of just a bunch of confusion and clouded energy, like like thoughts, like bad thoughts, like, oh, this and this, this isn't going to happen. And I kind of snapped myself out of it. I'm like, wait a second, this is not even me right now. And I called on Arch Archangel Michael out loud. I was like, yeah, now I call on Archangel Michael. Like, <laughs> I was just being so real with it too. Like, yeah, like, yeah, come through, like, with your sword, cut through this illusion, this mess. I know this is not true. These thoughts, you have no place here. I stand with Archangel Michael. He has the sword. We have the truth. Like, yeah, I just really got in that mode. Yeah, because it was like really bothering me, the nine of swords. Like really fogging my mind. Like really, I don't know, something's like really like, yeah, the ace of swords. Something's like really fucking with your mind or something. The queen of wands. So you do what you, you know how to do best, right? We have the queen of wands, a woman who is attractive. She is, um, she is hot. She is fire. Right. She is a mystic. She is fire, not only from herself, but from um, her ancestry, the women and men that came before her. They probably even went through the fire or would stay the fire. So the, the fire is her. She is on fire. Um, just from your history alone, who you come from. Like literally, if like, shoot, I'm talking, you know what? trials literally if somebody was like burned on a stake or something like yeah you're fired but it's so much sword energy right your magic you're fire but it's so much sword energy so i'm getting your vo your voice alone don't forget that your voice alone is magic too even if you don't have the tools or if you're in a moment like this, you're like, I don't even have time to, to dress a candle and do all this extra stuff. Don't forget that your voice and the intention behind it, the emotion that is invoked behind the words that you say. So maybe you like want to get your, um, where's mine? Uh, your, um, and it's downstairs, your book of songs.
I feel drawn to grab this book. I always am drawn to grab this book, but what am I meant to read? interesting okay yeah you're fire y'all probably noticed that i cut the clip um i had to take a call working from home because i guess they're like redoing the carpet or something at work i don't know why i mentioned that so that could be a, a something for somebody there also a random thing that i got i'm glad i remember now it's like something in your tooth this is so random it's like something in your tooth or something's bothering you about that uh this is just really random i feel like you could be with all this soaring energy too, I feel like you could be um, upgrading to something more like high tech. Of course, the wand energy is like kind of old fashioned, the old way of doing things. The sword is uh, something um, new, uh, innovative or whatever. So this could be you just going from using regular floss to using like a water floss. I don't know. I just feel like it's something in your tooth or something. I don't really know. Maybe like, yeah. Or maybe, um, I feel like also you want to be consistent with something. And I feel like you notice that the only reason why you're not consistent with something is because of the hassle or because it takes too, um, long or something like that. I mean, it could be flossing or so. I don't know. That's so random, but it could be something else. You're like, oh, flossing is, I have to take off the string and do it and then wrap it and then do one teeth and then wrap it again. And it's always slipping. It's just so much work. So I don't know, or something else, but you're like, okay, a water floss. So now you have no problem missing something because it's just, it's easy. It's more efficient. Temper is just kind of like balanced or whatever. I don't know. Um, also though, the call that I took, <laughs> speaking of Archangel Michael, the call that I took, the guy, his name was Michael. <laughs> I was like, that's funny. Um, and another name was August. Very funny. So Michael has a message here about something, uh, pertaining to the month of August, the month that we're in, which is interesting because the month is almost over, but I feel like, um, yeah, going into the second half of, of the month. It's going to be innovative or something. The world card. Yeah. Yeah, before I was saying it's like you fear the world card. Or you fear. But it's not you. But remember, it's not you. It's not you. But there's this fear around the world card. The lovers. I feel like everybody else is afraid of something. Or yeah, you you feel like anxious or something for whatever reason, for no reason. You don't even know the moon card. You don't know. It's because um, it's like every, there's talk about it. Everybody else knows that something is about to change. For you, it's good, though. For maybe them, it's not as good. I don't know. The lines are getting crossed. Because once the world happens, something will only be for you. And they fear that. Yeah, the justice. But that's justice. Or you said this will happen. So. <sighs> yeah, we're going to have to do that high priestess message. This is the rapture. Again. Um, on an elevated level, 
I feel like somewhere in text, everything that was written, it's almost like how I feel, y'all. It's like, I feel like somewhere in text, there's some type of message or passage that lets us know that, hey, everything that we're writing about, the physical war and dragons breathing and the fighting and the explosion, everything that we're making, this wand energy, this war and all of this, hey, we're going to write it in this book as if it's going to be dragons coming down and all this crazy shit, but understand to alchemize this energy and think of it on a higher level, on a sword energy. It's not going to be fighting and things blowing up. That's not going to be the rapture. This is how we're going to write it. But we need you to understand to switch it, switch to perspective. It's not going to be, it's actually going to be worse. I was thinking this the other day. No, I was thinking this today. I was thinking this today. I was kind of thinking, I was thinking about this concept today, again, of this lower level stuff. Because see, I'm different. Some of y'all that have me added on Facebook, y'all know I was going, I'm done going off on Facebook about these like, these little two like oh like weak friends uh <laughs> people that never was supposed to be in my circle but i don't know you grow up with them and it'd be hard to detach or whatever but but i was just go i was so mad going off going off i'm like oh it's past the point of because once you point something out to somebody at least for me they deny it or they don't want to talk about it they don't really want to like fight or nothing they're not not me I come and say to their face, what, what you say, what was said? Oh, no. Or they delete the post and then I'm going off on social media and I look crazy because they're scary. They want to delete stuff. Um, but see, that's not me. That's not, that's not even me. I was, <laughs> me, me and my sister, a Libra, we, we were just talking and I was, I was talking about Stunner Girl. I love Stunner Girl. I was like, uh, I was like, man, I'm surprised Stunner Girl isn't like, uh, more popular I was like she kind of reminds me in a way of like of Nikki like just her she's so animated I was like she kind of reminds me of Nikki um but less of a mean girl sorry to the, the barbs but yeah I don't know Nick, Nick is a Sagittarius she's just I don't know that's just what it is but yeah um and my sister was like not a mean girl she's like ain't stunner girl stunner girl the one that put that girl in the, a dog cage <laughs> And I was laughing because I was like, dang, I was just saying that on Facebook. <laughs> I was like, um, these girls be talking about all the raw, raw stuff to, to sound cute and sound big and bad. I'm a fight. I'm a do this. I, girl, I'm not trying to do that. I want to see fear in your eyes. I want to smell the fear coming off from you, from what I'm doing. I want what I do to you. I want you to go home late at night and think about it. I want you to be in the nine of swords. I want you to damn near be like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know what I'm going to do to my, yeah. I want you to get on that level. All that rot, the fighting and ah, uh, you, you can heal wounds. My black eye is going to heal. That's going to heal. I'll be fine. Now I want to fuck you up mentally. So... And I don't just do this to random people. I'm not like a bad person. But like if you really are bothering me or especially if it's somebody I care about, I don't care. I really don't care. I'll take it however far it goes. So yeah, when these two friends, when they thought um they was having a little uh, aha moment and stuff like that or like whatever. Yeah, baby, I don't care. I'm going to fuck with your mind. But this reminded me, yeah, because something's like uh, it's a higher level. So maybe that's why some people could, could be like afraid of you. So it reminded me of, um, I had this friend in high school. She was a Virgo. I had this uh, friend and she never really did nothing to nobody. She wasn't like, right. She was a sweet girl. And she had this other so-called friend. It's always like your friends who are the biggest haters. She had this friend who was like, with being mean to her. Basically my, my friend, the Virgo, like I'm just saying her name. Her name was Abby. Abby. She was getting attention from, like, one of the, like, most, like, I don't know, like, attractive guys at school at that time or whatever. And her friend just felt the way about it. Like her friend was just saying stuff and, like, being rude to her and, like, whatever. And at the time, me and Abby, we're friends, but, like, her and this girl have been friends for years. And it's always those people. It's never the people you just meet. It's the ones you've been friends with for the longest time. So she knew this girl, like, literally, they went to, like, kindergarten together and shit. So she, like, comes to my locker crying at, like, the end of the day. She's, like, crying. She's, like, yeah, nah, this girl, she was saying this to me, and she was doing that something. I don't even know. But, um, but, yeah, so, at the time, and this is how I mess with, people, with people's heads, um, because I'll know something isn't necessarily wrong, but if I know... 
if I know that it's going to hurt you, I'll say it or do it if you're deserving of it. So at the time, this other person or whatever that was like picking on my friend or whatever, or thought, I didn't go say picking on because you can't pick on nobody. But you get it. This girl at the time, it was already dudes in the school kind of going or it was kind of word going around about like, like that she had a smell down there. Now, that's nothing to like laughing no woman about. Nine times out of 10, the person she slept with probably was the one that the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Or she had an off day. We're human. Whatever. It's not like no big deal. What? But, but <laughs> since you got so much to say about my friend, let's have fun. So we're not going to do all the rah rah and all this shit. Plus my school, they went with that. They had a, a low tolerance. So I probably would have got kicked out. So, hmm. We, uh, our school was right by a grocery store that everybody always went to. So, you know, I say, Abby, you know, after school, because we would have practice and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, after school, um, let's go uh, to Schnucks. Let's go to the grocery store. We go to the grocery store. I'm like, yeah, let's uh, go in the fish aisle. This is so funny. Did I do this because I'm a Pisces? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's go in the fish aisle. We went, we bought a fish that still had the head on it. And I put it in that bitch locker. Because I knew, because I know... Because everybody's already talking about that you have a smell down there, you're going to assume that one of the boys or people pretty much did this to humiliate you. They didn't do it. I did it. But I want you to think that, though, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck with you. I want you to think that, though. It's going to fuck with you. Leave my friends alone. <laughs> <laughs> that girl probably went home and just was like, oh, my God. The nine, yeah. I'm not trying to do the nine of wands. Yeah, the y'all can have that. Let's switch it up. Let's let's do a different tack. Let's do some a different war style. And let's see if you win in that battle. Let's see. Now it is messed up though, because then um when <laughs> it's messed up though, because then when certain people do things, I be like, huh. Or they messing with my mind. And it's like, girl, you're probably only thinking that because you be messing with people's minds. But I only do it when it's deserving, y'all, I swear. I only do it when it's deserving. Yeah, I know how to get in their mind and, and yeah. Mm, that's funny. I was like, dang, I forgot I did that. I just told my sister that. She was like, she was like, how you say a stunner girl ain't no mean girl? Didn't she put that girl in a dog cage? And I was like, yeah, that's that's exactly what I would do. Because that's what I said on Facebook. I'm like, yeah, that's me. That's something I would do. I ain't trying to fight. I want you to like. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that reminds me when I put that fish in that girl. <laughs> With the head still attached. <laughs> Yo, if I was her, I would have been so mad. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all don't understand. She was such a terrible person, though. She was such a... And I, I, it brought me so much joy. Because she was such a terrible person. And she was like an undefeated, terrible person. Oh, uh, yeah. You're going to be defeated by me. <laughs> like, or, um, or like some of y'all that... Y'all know, I don't know. <clears throat> um... I don't know, watch like the, the re reality shows like Jocelyn, Jocelyn, always the one that beat everybody up. But I can't wait to see the day where somebody finally like just steal off on her ass. Because why do you walk around thinking you could do everything to anybody and that nothing's ever going to happen to you? I would have been handle her. I would have been handle her. Those are the people I want to be coming for. You think that? Okay. Okay. And everybody's going to let you walk around thinking that you can get away with certain things or whatever. I thought he brings some real power. I don't really know. So why did I go off on that tangent? I just feel like people are afraid of the world card or someone's afraid of this union because of like, the loyalty behind both of you or the loyalty with the family, like how y'all have each other's back. It's almost like, um, 
if you're a divine feminine, somebody does not want you to be with this masculine because then you're protected. They want you to be left unprotected, alone. No one's coming to your aid. They know because then they can fuck with you. But they know if you next to this emperor, they can't mess with you. Same thing with the emperor. They know, oh, no, nah, she got that girl over there. Oh, let's not let's not even mess with him. We're going to think we're going to mess with him or steal, steal from him or something. We're going to go home and start hearing voices in, in, in the walls and stuff. <laughs> This girl gonna do something to us. Nah, let's not even mess with him. We gonna think we got got away with it and stuff. All of a sudden, now we keep hearing stuff going bump in the night. <laughs> Cause we decided to mess with her man. Yeah, the death card. <laughs> now we hearing voices and stuff. Yeah, I feel like you have a shielding. Are you meant to have a shielding protection? They don't want you to have that. But you will. Um, yeah, Michael's presence is very strong. Very, very, very strong. Michael and August. Two names. Or, yeah, the Emperor. Yeah, so happy Mars Day, the Emperor. Bottom of the deck is the Strength card. Kind of like this one. Again, loyalty and stuff. Yeah, I feel like uh, when it comes to war or that masculine energy, yeah. Somebody holds the sword or whatever. Somebody holds the wand. Some, I don't know, maybe sometimes y'all enter, even intertwine it. Yeah, because I'll definitely be the queen of wands, too. I'll definitely, you know, light a candle, put your name in a whatever. Like, I don't know. But <clears throat> but if I don't want to do that or if people feel like, oh, that's not, you know, that's not fair. Um, You can't do that. You're doing, okay. That I feel like this was the easy one. You might hear something go, I feel like this was the easy one. You want the queen of swords? Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought the Queen of Wands, I thought that was, that was cool. You want the Queen of Swords? Ooh. You want the Queen of Swords? Or maybe you're saying this to a masculine too, like somebody. Um, Maybe you're very attracted, kind of clingy, um, very on them, the attention, everything's hyping. Maybe, I don't know, they want to fuck with it. You're like, okay, you want the Queen of Swords? Yeah, the Queen of Swords breaks hearts. Maybe you feel like um, being nice, you're like, I got to be a B word because being nice isn't doing it or something. Or, yeah, they're not attracted. And the funny thing is, the funny thing is, You're probably not even, I ain't gonna say like that. Like, I don't know what you're doing. If it's the clinginess or the fieriness or the the um, the uh, aggression you have right now or just like whatever, whatever it is, that's like this fi the fire energy, the attention you're giving somebody, all the, yeah, or the horniness or the, I don't know, maybe you just, the, the anger, the mad, the fighting with people, I'm not sure. But I feel like that's not, it's not that it's not like you, but... That's not even the energy you like to be in. So it's like if people or if people are annoyed by that or something, you're like, oh my God, thank you. <sighs> finally, I can go back to being a queen of swords or finally I can go back to being a bitch. I was trying so hard to be clean. You're trying so hard to, yeah. Thank you. I can just go back to being a queen of swords and not caring or being a bitch. Thank you. It's like it actually was more of a struggle for you to... um. Yeah. To care. They don't know that though. I feel like yes, yeah, it's, it's actually more of a struggle for you to really care. So when you were caring, that was you actively trying to or something. I don't really I'm sorry, y'all. I don't really know where the message has gone. <laughs> What are you doing? It's 
She like, yeah, I'm glad. I don't have to. Maybe you should stop fighting and you should stop. Instead of giving people a reaction. Yeah, I don't like giving people. I, that works for some. Some people, that's their energy. I don't like to give people a reaction. I've been doing it, but I don't. Because people get more mad when I just act like I don't care. Not even act. I really don't care. People are more mad when I do that. That's why I always got under that Capricorn skin. Because you are not moving me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't see you as a threat. And yeah. So all these years, you probably thought you were getting away with it. Because, ooh, she's so stupid. I'm saying this. I'm doing this. No, I just don't care. Because you're not no threat to me. Just like you were attracted to my man. My baby daddy once removed, you were attracted to him. You're not no threat to me. I know he ain't going nowhere. I know he's not going for you. So you're doing all of this. It's not, it's, I don't feel a need to react to it. And that's what bothers people. Because they're like, dang, you think so lowly of me that you're not even bothered that I could possibly take something. You know for sure. You're so confident that I can't have what you have. And that makes them mad. Yeah, make motherfuckers mad. Go back to making people mad. The way that you can. Some people, the queen of wands is what makes people mad. But not for like, so for somebody or for you. Nah, bring out that sword. Make Continue to make people feel like they're worthless. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I know this is like, dang, she's being, I feel like somebody deserve, deserves it. Remember that you are karma. You have to understand and you have to be the one to say, dang, you did me wrong. So that the universe responds and gives you and delivers karma or uh, justice to you and karma to them but you first have to know that you were wronged don't walk around here making excuses oh well that nope the world card yeah baby you could you can move me i never cared that's why um when things happen the way they happen, well, my daughter, it was like, oh, this shot, this, y'all think that, okay, this, this the moment, because this is something that will actually get her upset, and you are damn right, and you probably shouldn't play like that, but I'm glad you did, because I've been needing to do test subjects for a while, but the test subject I need for what I've, what I've done already, I needed a test subject where... It wouldn't be a lot of, uh, it wouldn't be, it would be, it would be just for us to do what we need to do. Basically kind of like, um, in Full Metal Alchemist where they basically, in the show, they found out that you needed like human souls to make the Philosopher's Stone. So... They went to the prisons and got people that were on death row because you're a good test subject because you're kind of useless in their eyes. And in the show, that was wrong. But um, in this case, it doesn't matter. She'll be all right. But yeah, great test subject. Thank you. I've been needing somebody. Because that is the reality of the world. That is a sad re kind of yeah. The magic that that's the sad reality of the world. I thought like you're like a mad scientist, or you were. Like if you think about it, y'all. A lot of the medicine, and y'all know this. A lot of the medicine we, we have, a lot of the surgeries surgeries we know, a lot of the ways that we know how to heal was for some really bad stuff. Y'all better look up um what happened in Japan. What a uh, unit. Uh, something, unit 3, 7, or something. That's, like, insane, though. I really wonder... I'm sorry, this reading... I feel like this reading got kind of dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is your first reading watching me. <laughs> like, I, it had to be another way to go about that, though. Like, the physical pain, that stuff... Like all it, it had to be it had to be another way, right? Or no. That's why, man, being spiritual sometimes you go down that rabbit hole, it'd be like kind of sad because it's like dang. Some stuff is like, I don't know. Anyways. Mm. 
Dang, that, that's messed up. Yeah, I'm hearing a song. Yeah, there has to be a better way. Yeah, for this energy, uh, the Nine of Pentacles gives me Virgo energy, like a, a healthy body, healthy, right? It has to be another way to, to understand the body or examine or know the body without... This is so random. I feel like you know the body without having to... um. So Reiki, literally. So uh, this this is what I'm getting to. Instead of the war, the fighting, or the the in purposely infecting people with syphilis and to see what happens. And yeah, mystics should have been around because it was a it, it was a better way to do this. It was a better way to do this. It was. It's almost like I see somebody you feeling on someone's back, or you and then you feel the air you. See. It's like you, where is that crystal at? This is like literally what, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Please, is it in here? Or that, it's like, <sighs> that crystal not here. That crystal is probably under a pillow or something. I think I was sleeping on it. <sighs> I don't know. It's like you see into. It's just like reflective. You see into. I don't know. This is weird. I know y'all. I know. This is weird. But I had that one television crystal. I'm going to find it. And you could put it on something and it will like magnify what you're seeing. I, you just kind of know. I don't really know. It's just like a clear cognizance. You just know how to. You know what's wrong. You know how to fix something. Uh, you know. You also know what will happen per person. Or you did. I could be speaking on, on like who you used to be. He's sort of like a, a mad scientist or a doctor or something. I'm also getting past life story. Um, a mystic met a mad scientist and then you you showed somebody or you showed a, a group of people or community. Hey, look, we don't got to do this no more. Let's uh, do something else. Like, yes, we still need this. Understand the concept completely. But like, let's just make a few adjustments. Yeah, you're like, um, like, whoa, whoa, slow down. Like, let's think about it. Mars energy. I said slow. Instead of this, like, this fight, like, whoa, slow down. Let's just, like, think about it before we just, I don't know, like, cut into this person. Let's just, whoa, let's slow down and think. I've got to end this. This is so random. I got to end the reading. The King of Swords. <laughs> Uh, or it's just another way to do something or yeah undetectable the high priestess yeah for sure undetectable trust me mm. Mm -hmm. um, I don't got to say nothing else um I'll Spirit, why y'all be having me say the most outrageous shit? <laughs> I'm really the whistleblower. I gotta say the most outrageous stuff. I get the most outrageous stuff. Let's talk about that too, though. Nah, we're gonna talk about that in the High Priestess reading. We're gonna talk about that in the High Priestess reading. Because I feel like y'all gonna start getting some outrageous stuff, but it's the reason why. Congratulations. 
you move on to the next level. This is why certain um, H word sacrifices aren't around anymore. But don't don't think that in a way that that's not still happening. There's a lot of people that are walking around that are dead. We just didn't need to do all the rah rah, all the extra stuff like it used to be. But don't think that they're not consequences. And the rapture. Yeah, the, the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Or again, it's like you get um you get uh cut off from your spiritual connection. Something really deep. It's really deep. Community. Yeah, you did association of the worlds. You did something spiritual sovereignty for the community. Or yeah. Or you were part of this group or helping or something. Or yeah. To be a healer, you need to know how to do the opposite of healing. courageousness this keeps coming out you're very like brave a lot of yeah you're very brave or something it is mars day so i feel like something could be your yeah, self-sacrifice something could be um i don't know scary or something or not for you though generosity I mean, it could be simple like that. Like I told my friend, there's something where you're like, huh, it's a better way to do something. Like, yeah, no, nah, it's a better way to do this. We're not even going to. Don't think that because this school has a, a low tolerance for um, fighting, that's why she feel like she can get away with stuff because I want to fight the girl. But she feel like, okay, well, I'm protected. <laughs> you can't do anything to me because I'm protected. <laughs> no, you're not. I know how to go about it another way. Don't worry. Don't worry. But just know what's coming. Yeah, spiritual technology. Just know what's coming, though. I'm going to leave it here, y'all. The link is below if you are needing to book a personal session with me. Happy Mars Day again. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.